Kessler, O'Dowd, and Gasparino. It's number 24, Texas, number 17, Texas Tech. ERA in 14 plus innings, 10 walks, eight hits, 20 strikeouts, opponents batting 185. We are underway. Robinson at 91 on that first delivery. There you just saw the good changeup. Rolls that one out towards Robinson near the mound. To Cash, and there is one away. Both champs in 2018, 2021, 23. That ball on the ground into right field. And Peyton Powell on for the Longhorns with the first hit of the night. Not a big lead at all. That ball is skied into left field. Damian Bravo coming on. And Pompey going out and cannot make the catch. Drop the ball. Throw to second is not in time. Gus, it looked like Bravo never saw the ball, but it was a long, long run for him. You're exactly right. Bravo did not see it the, the instant it was hit. And we're at that point in the twilight where the sky is sort of pale. Pompey had to run a long way to get there. And I think. Peyton Powell did a really nice job of seeing the difficulty out there. Heat up right after he leaves town. Boy, he is dangerous. Ground ball past McGee at third into left field. This will score a run. Bravo comes up with the ball. It'll be, well, it tried to cut it off at third base. It got away. Now a runner to third and throw down in time. And they will get Flores at third. Doing what he's supposed to do. Comes up throwing right here. Coach Rodriguez. They're at third base saying, hey, he missed the tag and uh, immediately giving the safe sign and calling for the headphones. But three straight singles by Longhorn hitters against Robinson here in the first. So Porter Brown will be at first. The question whether or not Jalen Flores is safe or out at third base. 68 wins. Here is the call and the play at third overturn. Jalen Flores is safe at third base. Ryan Galvan, runner goes as he squares to bunt. The Red Raiders will not make a throw. Here's Max Ballou, first pitch swinging, skies it into right field. Washburn having trouble finding the ball, and he's not going to be able to make a play. It's out of here for a Longhorn home run. A three-run blast by Ballou, and again, Red Raider outfielders just having trouble picking up the ball. He was not going to be able to make a play on it, as it turns out, though, Gus. But the home run into the Red Raider bullpen, it's 4 nothing Texas. Yeah, this is that point in the evening. Kind of twilight. The lights obviously on and in effect, but you still got a little bit of a pale sky, certainly back here behind us and off to the west. It's a Baron Johnson. Red Raiders are going to face a good one. Yes, sir. LeBaron Johnson is the real deal. Foxy Harrelson and the freshman shortstop TJ Pompey, who has been on base in every game for the Red Raiders this season. Washburn hits a towering fly ball into left center field. Brown, though, looked like he couldn't find it for a moment and now does. A couple of steps in to make the play. And senior out of Nashville. Rips that ball into left field. Long run for Bravo. One hops off the wall. Extra bases for O'Dowd to lead off here in the top of the second. Driven in. It's this one right at Lopez. Runner will go to third, but Lopez the play at first for out number two. And now that's second best in the Big 12 and got him on the strike three. Swing and a miss at another off-speed pitch from Kyle Robinson. That's low for ball four. He's walked the first two batters here in the bottom of the second inning. High school All-American finds himself behind in the count at 0-2. Ground ball right back to Johnson. Fumbled the ball trying to throw to second and then threw it away at first. Red Raiders are going to get at least one run in. Bravo is crossed. Lopez will be held up. And Dylan Maxey is safe at first base. Johnson has to go up high to get this ball. It looked like it might bounce over him. But he's 6'4", wanted to go to second. 
drop the ball and then short arms to throw to first base. Yeah, and as high as that ball was chopped back to the mound, he probably would have been wise to just glove it and make his first look over there to first. And of course, he's like anybody else, thinking, "Man, I want to get, I want to get a, get a force, keep that double play in order." Really got him. Well, that pitch got right by Schuessler. Bounces past him out there to Johnson, who came off the mound to field that ball. And scoring from third is Lopez, Horn's catcher, and. LeBaron Johnson off the mound to field it, but he couldn't get the ball back in time. Red Raiders have two runs. Yeah, had Schuessler been able to turn around and play that thing, he might have had an easy out at the plate. But that was nowhere close. And this is got a second ball bounced in here and another wild pitch. Yeah, got away from him. And Dylan Maxey on those wild pitches has gone from first to third. Crowd's awake. LeBaron Johnson had one wild pitch this season, and now he's walked his third batter of the inning. One and two pitch, ground ball down towards third. It's in fair territory. Pompey will be out at first, but the run scores as Dylan Maxey comes in from third on that ground ball. It's 4-3 Texas now. Right now in Kansas City. Flores to lead off the inning for Texas. That's McGee, throws wide of the bag at first, but Gavin Cash kept his foot on the bag. Texas going to appeal that one, too. Gus, what do you think? Yeah, McGee, I think the extra, that second shuffle right there was where he lost his rhythm on the throw. Obviously, pulls Cash off. I think a lot Cash might have stayed on the bag long enough. You can't tell there as he's leaning forward and the foot coming off the back out at first base confirmed on the review and ground ball right back up the middle Pompey can't get there and Galvan has a hit sixth of the ball game for Texas Oxman pitch man was taken behind Donald Harris in the big league grab yes, indeed. Frank Thomas did pretty we didn't see many breaking balls from Johnson Blit the first time through. One and two to Bravo. Hit into right field. If it stays fair, it's really trouble. It's off the fair pole. It's a home run for Bravo. Damian Bravo has tied the ball game with that long ball, his second home run of the year. Yeah, he stays on a breaking ball there, John. Just what we had been talking about. He stays on one and drives it down the right field line and flings it off the pole about a third of the way up. He knew he hit it well off the bat. The question was, was it going to stay fair? And there's a good look at it. Okay, maybe a four. Robinson, the 12 coaches have voted him the preseason freshman of the year. And he rips that ball into left field. It'll be a long run for Bravo. Gets all the way to the wall. He'll have to hurry the throw back in. Longhorns are going to have runners at second and third with one out. And the top of the order coming up. Gasparino all over a first pitch that's elevated, not over the plate. Rips it into the left field corner for a one out double here. The red. Excuse me, the Longhorns are in business with runners on second and third and just one out. Yeah, that's hit right back up the middle past Kyle Robinson. This will score a couple of runs. I think Gage Harrelson has picked it up. Throw on the way back in is cut off. And Powell has delivered a two out single right back up the middle past Robinson. Hits this one into center field. Long run for Gage Harrelson. Can't get there. Drops in front of him. It's another hit with two outs. Brown started his collegiate career at TCU, then made the move to Texas. Hits this one a mile into right field. It's not going over the scoreboard, but Owen Washburn never moved. Three-run homer off the bat of Porter Brown to right field, and the Longhorns have extended their lead. Yeah, this changeup. Gets elevated. Brown does a great job of waiting on it and just tattooing that thing way, way over the bullpen down the street out in deep right field.
three outs. But in doing that, allowed five hits and seven runs to light here. Well, it's not a bad time for it, up nine to four. Feast on a guy that's fighting his command. By far the most that Robinson has allowed in any of his outings this season. That ball hit down the third baseline and it's fair. That is trouble. At least two bases for Schusler and a couple of more runs are going to score from Texas. Here's a throw home, not in time. Got past Maxi. Throw back to third is not going to be in time either. Another look at that play at third base, Gus. It's very similar to the one we saw in the first inning here, John. Well, clearly the ball beat the runner there. It's just a matter of, of is the tag on him before the right arm of Schusler gets on the bag. All beer. right, here is the call, and it will stand at third. Schusler is safe. That ball got away from Schusler, and Gage Harrelson is off to second base. Two and two, runner goes, pitches inside to Cash. No throw to third base. Here's the three and two, swing and a miss. Gavin Cash strikes out. Gasparino is one for two tonight, and he's going to have his second hit here. Pokes that ball into the corner out in right field, headed for second base as Owen Washburn runs it down, and the, he overruns second base, but the Red Raiders can't get the ball there quickly enough, but a starting lineup that does not have a hit, and he may have one now. Rips that one out to right field as well. Past Washburn to the wall. Throw is headed to second. It is not quite in time. Thomas has the double. Gasparino has scored, and the Longhorns have 12 runs. An exceptional player. And he's got three hits. That one ripped into center field. Gage Harrelson quickly to it. And back in, but three straight hits here by Texas in this fifth inning. Already a run in. They are the top home run hitting team in the Big 12. Now the bases are loaded. Are this inning. Tenth hit of the season for Galvan is going to leave the ballpark. Three-run blast for the Longhorn DH off Zane Petty. And the Longhorns are piling it on the Red Raiders here in this series opener. Gus, it didn't take long for that one to get out of the ballpark. That is a grand slam. Yeah, that ball was tattooed. First pitch breaker followed by a fastball. It's Belt high, middle in, got a lot of the strike zone, and Galvan did not miss it. Pierce talked to us about that today, John. On a night where the ball might fly, what gets you beat is not the solo home run. It's creating a bunch of traffic around it. The Red Raiders three run second inning. Three walks and an error, and no hits in that inning, but uh, they sent. Middle innings, third, fourth, and fifth. Red Raiders have scored 77 runs in the third, fourth, and fifth. And now, Cade McGee into the corner in left field. Stand up double for the Red Raiders' third baseman. Innings against these Longhorn batters. Travis Sanders now in the game at second, and Davis Rivers behind the plate. Ground ball down towards third. McGee knocks it down, but cannot make a play. Cannot come up with that hard hit ball behind the bag at third. Their first two on here in the sixth. That is a mile high fly ball into center field. Harrelson is back near the warning track. Will make the catch. Dean runs on the scoreboard. That's ball four. Runners on the move. It's outside away from Brown. Ball four. And another run scores for Texas. Runners on the move, and that's ball four. He's walked in a pair. 18 runs, the most ever scored by the Longhorns in a game against the Red Raiders. Will Burns sees one pitch and sends it out of the ballpark. Red Raiders' third home run of the night as Will Burns jumps on that whitehead pitch and Sends it out into the Red Raider 
bullpen in right field. Sees the first pitch from Erdman and hits a towering pop-up over behind first base, and Stripling drops the ball. Flipped it, and everyone played six comps, six games, two, three at your place, and three at mine. Yeah. A lot of baseball. They only did that once. Yeah, I, I, that was that was the Pacific Empire League, they call it. There's ball four to Schusler. The bases are loaded for Texas here. Scored three of the four times he's been on base, and he just ripped that one to left field. That is out of here. That is the second grand slam of the night by Longhorn batters. Gasparino's got a four for five. Let's see. That is a five for six night with two doubles, two singles, and a grand slam. Holy cow. Have a day, kid. Man. Jumping on one and going to go for extra bases. He got it just over the wall, but that was a linea. Ball is lined into left center field, and I think he'll get down. Gasparino can't get to it. It gets to the wall. Rivers is going to have a double. The Red Raiders are going to score a couple of runs as Bame and Washburn score. So the Red Raiders have scored a couple of runs here in the bottom of the ninth. Two-out double, well hit. By Strike three looking. Just went right after the Red Raiders Gage Harrelson to end this ballgame. Whitehead strikes out three in the ninth inning.